Hey what's up everybody, Bearfox over here and welcome back to another video. In this video today I'm going to be showing you guys what are the best settings and fixes for NVIDIA GeForce now to fix all your problems and lags in just one video. So just make sure that you guys watch this video till the end. Also guys, we have recently achieved 11.7k subscribers. That's really amazing. Help me reach 12k subscribers by the mid of January. I hope we can do this. It's just 240 subscribers more we need. So guys, I just request you one thing. If this video helps you out in any means, make sure to do leave a like and hit the subscribe button and contribute uh, to be a part of a 12k family for my channel. Let's move on with the video. So guys, NVIDIA GeForce Now has recently got a lot of changes and updates. Yep, if you guys haven't yet already update your GeForce Now. I've been talking about updating NVIDIA GeForce Now in every video. Let's get started. What you have to do is just go and open up the file location for your GeForce Now and over here you will find something called GeForce Now.json What you have to do is right click on that and edit If you don't see an edit option just open it with notepad Alright Now once you are here what you have to do is for GFN Accelerator just change these settings that I'm going to be showing you guys This one is for the black screen error you have to go for 9 or 10 which one runs best for you I have an RDX 2070 so I can go for the X12 um, then the dev window size should be 1920 by 1080 uh, that is the uh, default window size that you guys are gonna be seeing over here scroll all the way down and then we have uh, NV app HDPI that has to be true then we have something called startup auto update make sure that it is false and then we have the SDL vsync make sure that it is false then we have uh, something called uh, SDL IOHID configurable make sure that it is true and the HDPI make sure that it is true once you are done with all of these settings what you have to do is just save it now once you have saved these application settings just open up your NVIDIA GeForce now and I'm gonna be showing you guys what are the best in-app settings over here now I'm gonna be showing you guys the best in-app settings what you have to do is just click on these three dots and go to settings over here guys uh, you can see something called Dark mouse input option if you have applied what I have shown before uh, well you can see this uh, this one so you can go for Dark mouse input option for the streaming quality guys just go and hit custom and in custom just make sure that your bitrate is 50 and over here for the resolution I've been telling you guys to use 1280 by 720 but now guys you can use 1024 for x768 that's gonna just you know it will not give you the best quality but it will give you best experience and then just go for 50 mbps if you have a really poor internet and if not you can directly go for 12 by 720 and just pull it out to 50 then make sure guys adjust for poor network connection is turned off this is going to be giving you blurry screen and the vsync is by default should be turned off also make sure that your discord rich presence is turned off over here guys i've already made a video on how to choose your server location so i'll be leaving a link in the description below and you can see the i option on the right uh, right hand side of your screen so you guys can just go and check that video out that i have made i live in india so i use eu southeast and if you guys find it really difficult to you know connect to any server you can just go and hit select auto all right guys these are the best in-app settings now i'm going to be showing you guys how to you know uh, maximize your performance for that what you have to do is just go and open up your command prompt and yep once you are here what you have to type is ipconfig slash uh, space sp slash flush dns once you're done with that you will see something like this uh, that's nice then what you have to do is open up your uh, control panel um, right away and then go to network and connections and then over here you have to go and go to settings then click on Ethernet and go to properties and over here you'll find something called internet protocol version just double click on that and use uh, for the second option uh, use the DNS server location from just put 8.8.8.8 on the preferred DNS server and 8.8.4.4 on the alternate DS, DN, uh, DNS server. Once you're done with that, hit OK, hit OK, close everything. One more settings that you can do is go to your or settings and over here what you have to do is just search for network state. Uh, uh, okay, now for network status you have to type in reset 
we find something called network reset what you have to do is reset your network and restart your computer it's gonna help you out a ton again guys there's gonna be one more thing that you can use that is in your settings uh search for background uh background apps and make sure that the background apps are all disabled this will allow your uh, uh nvidia geforce now you know to run in front and it will maximize the performance of your computer all right there are a lot of more settings that you guys can use uh there's gonna be a link to an app in the description below uh it is known as net limiter i'm not gonna be showing in this video how to use it but you guys can check another video i'll be leaving a link in the description below for the video in which i've shown you how to use net limiter i have made a dedicated video on that so just go and make sure that you check that out now i'm coming ahead to another fix that you can use that is that lies in your control panel if you have a graphics card of nvidia or amd you can just you know feel free to use these settings these are some extra settings that you guys can use what you have to do is just go to program settings and over here you have to uh, add your geforce now for you go for those who don't know how to add it just click on add and select the app uh, from this list just hit add selected program and then follow the following uh, follow the settings that i have already done so anti-aliasing fxaa off uh, mode uh, enhance the application settings uh, settings uh, just go for 2x then the low latency mode ultra uh then we have the max frame rate just go and limit it uh you know on and limit it to 59 that's where you have to limit your uh frame rate wait issue 59 fps and limit it on that then we have this one open gl rendering gpu uh just make sure that it is auto select and then the share cache of anisotropic sampling options just make sure that it is off and you have high performance on and triple buffering off and vertical sync off once you're done with that just close your application hit ok and yep that's going to be auto saving all of these things Now guys what you have to do is open up your nvidia geforce now and open any game that you want and we're going ahead with fortnite uh, now rather than clicking play from here you can use a desktop sh shortcut i highly suggest you guys to do this so just click on that and add a desktop shortcut and there we have our desktop shortcut what i have to do is just right click on that hit uh go to properties and in properties guys what you have to do is just go to compatibility uh over here you have to hit run this program as an administrator hit apply hit ok and then just run this application i highly suggest you guys to use a vpn before turning on anything all right what you have to do is apply a vpn now i'm connected to france okay so once it is running on the administrative permissions it will not run in background instead it will run in front so that's gonna be maximizing the performance i can see i have like 300 gamers ahead of me i'm just gonna cut it and i'm just gonna be hitting quit all right guys i hope this guys help you out in any means if it does make sure to do leave a like and hit the subscribe button help me reach 12k subscribers before the mid of january 2021 we'll see you guys in the next video or the next guy till then stay tuned keep watching Fox and peace out